From Honolulu, Scotts Valley, and Monterey, California, Palm Coast, Florida, and Grants Pass, Oregon, this is a Zoom call with the magnificent miners of Eastern and Southern Oregon. Hey, Ed. Hey, how are you doing? And Michael back here. Hey, Michael. Great, got you all in the same room. Hey, Bob. How's it going up there? How's the weather? 82? Oh, great. Good day, huh? So tell us about you guys. This is a good chance for you to just give us a little short, uh, uh, a little short piece about yourself so that we can kind of know how you're involved in the mining and swans. I know everybody can talk an hour or two in the background, but we can just make a little short piece so we know who you are. Okay, I'm Jim Hales. I'm a dentist. I'm a practicing dentist. This is my 54th year. I'm 84. I'm here in Grants Pass. I'm loving it. But you're Doc. You're Doc, right? Doc. Doc, okay. I met Ed as my patient uh, about 30 years ago, and we've been fastest friends ever, just super guy. And then Michael Cope goes to my church, which is River Valley Christian. And then Jay, I've uh, just joined up, knowing him today for the first time in person, is involved with Michael on the AMR exploration e- event. Right. <clears throat> my only claim to fame for geology and mining is that I did have a five hour geology course in college and I, I, and I made an A and I love that. Other than that, I don't know anything about it, but Ed's teach, taught me a lot. I think the world of them. So I think we're in a great place with the richest county with no money in the till, but we've got more minerals than anybody. So, and Jay, are you there? Tell us a little about yourself, Jay. Hi, guys. Uh, so my name is Jay Meredith. I'm the uh, CFO for American Mineral Research. We are... Um, We've been a prospect generator for a number of years. We've recently put together a, a major portfolio of, uh, of mineral opportunities and, and uh, mineral interests here in Josephine County, Oregon. Uh, and um, just, uh, just on Wednesday of this week, we, we made history by getting approved for a, a mineral exploration permit. On yeah, a congratulations. County, on a county-owned piece of land. Uh, yeah historic moment for our county um so we're now a partner with the county in um in developing our our uh, significant mineral resources here at justin county and uh and uh we're we're about to uh <coughs> ground running and uh start uh moving into the, the type of activities that junior mining companies do so we're going to start exploring and developing and proving up resources uh on the on the various properties we have here in the county and so uh we're uh, uh, we're we're very excited uh, about uh, about uh, reviving this industry here in Justin County. So that's the that's the short version. Yeah, and who else is there with you? Hi, I'm Ed Baldwin. Here's Ed. Hi, Hi Ed. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you, man. Hi, Brett. Finally, finally get to. <laughs> to see you, Ed. Like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> A little more hair. Hey, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you have more hair than he does. <laughs> that is for sure. Anyway, uh, I've been mining for well, I'll just be conservative and say fifty years, and uh, <clears throat> all over the West. So I've I'm familiar with many aspects of mining and assaying and everything else. We had a lab in uh, Las Vegas for. Oh, we had the lab for about five years, five or six years, and my technician died on me, and uh, he borrowed my computer, and all this stuff was on the computer. Now nobody can find the computer. So here I am, uh, years later, and high and dry, and starting mm-hmm. again. And, and, still, to and still at it, too, right? Oh, still yeah. Still after it. Hey. hey, you never quit. Right. My wife and I started out here in Josephine County. We were going down to the uh, down to the river and Josephine Creek. And uh, Josephine Creek 
pretty rich creek in, in Oregon. Goes from one end to the other down there. Empties into the uh, Rogue River. And then from there to the ocean. But anyway, uh, my wife and I started out carrying buckets of rocks from the creek up a steep hill and two buckets and loading them in 55-gallon pails and then taking them over to the river, uh, the Rogue River. And we, I had a piece of property there that I could use to process this stuff and crush it. Then came the flood that, that spring, took all my equipment, washed it out in the river. I never did find it. But, but you're still, but you're still doing it up there. So, so oh, yeah. I, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a whole piece on you on uh, we, that we recorded too. That's coming up very soon. It's the, uh, the whole story. You have a wonderful, wonderful story. Oh, we uh, take you going back in Vegas. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, and Keith, you finally are on. Uh, can you tell us a little about, about yourself and how you're involved in mining? Uh, that tragic day occurred about 40, 40 years ago. But uh, I've been mining in California. Of course, I, I grew up in the, in the gold country there, uh, east of Sacramento. And... Uh, Got my hand started just, uh, you know, uh, placer mining, but then moved to a hard rock mine up north. And I've been mining uh, in Nevada, uh, California, Ghana, Africa, Guyana, South America, and Peru, South America. Where wow. we're, while we're, we're active in Peru right now. Not on the video. Fantastic. But you're in, uh, where are you located right now? I'm in uh, Palm Coast, Florida right now. You're in Palm Coast, Florida. So what do you have to do with uh, the mining there in Oregon? Not a thing. Not a thing. You're just an interested party with it. Ed, Ed asked us to, to uh, Join touch in. base with you. And uh, so, so that's Great. what we're doing. Glad, glad to meet you. We, uh, we leach. Uh, we have our own leach formulas, our own reactor uh, designs, and uh, we leach. Uh, we have an, a completely green leaching technology, and when we're done with a leach, you can pour it on the ground, and it won't hurt a thing. Wow, incredible! So that's what we do. Well, I hope you'll, you're on the email uh, portion. I hope you'll send us more information on what you're doing. Maybe we could add some things onto the website as well. I'd love to. Yeah, about yeah, that. we're uh, we're in the basis right now, hoping to close on a building in uh, in Oklahoma to set up a a new plant uh there so we're pretty busy but uh, uh, that keeps me uh, what, kind, what, what you guys are doing and what kind, uh, what kind of plant are you talking about a leaching facility a leaching facility All we and then, okay so brett you're in you're in honolulu today right i'm in sunny honolulu today yes uh, so tell so. us tell tell the group a little bit about yourself and how you're involved in this uh brett eberhardt uh See from the uniform, I'm here at work. I'm a major in the in the Marine Corps. Been in about 18 and a half years. So I'll retire a little over a year from now. Uh, intelligence officer. Came here. Uh, my wife's from Hawaii. So our plan was to retire here. Bought a home here. So we've uh, 20 years traveling around the world. Finally back. Uh, have one place to call a home. So it's nice. Uh, I'm involved uh, through my dad, Jim Eberhardt, who you'll meet here in a little bit. Um, just for me, uh, always been interested in it uh, through my dad telling stories about Ed and everything that's going on up there. And as I look to turn a new chapter in my life, the, the military has been done, but I'm looking forward to doing something a little different. So maybe this be it. So here just to, I know nothing about mining, but looking forward to hearing a lot about it. Hey, Brett. Yeah. Uh, hello from an old Marine captain. I saw, I was about to say, uh, Semper Fi, and I, I like your background out there. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Okay, and Jim, Jim's the guy who got me involved in all this. He and I have been friends for 20 years. Jim, tell us a little, about, a little bit about yourself and how you're involved here. Well, Ed, Ed and I have been friends for, what is it, about 30 years now, Ed? And uh, Ed and I have got to know each other over the years, and I've always supported what he's doing. And um, just recently, uh, Ed wanted me to come aboard and get more involved with the mine, and I've been doing that and helping him out. And I'm looking forward to what happens in the next couple of weeks. If they are, I don't know if there's going to be a couple of weeks or a month 
when I get these uh, essay reports back. Great. And my name is Bob Hamilton, and I have, next month, I'll celebrate my 60th anniversary in the radio, music, internet, multimedia world. And uh, the, I have uh, been getting a great education from all of you guys for the first time in my life about mining and trying to feel like I'm a miner, just trying to pick a little bit more information out of it uh, every time you guys uh, have the opportunity to share it. And my concern uh, right now is helping you guys as much as possible. The, this video is being recorded right now, and I hope we can share this with the public as well so that they'll get a little bit of an education and insight into what mining is all about in Oregon and what miners overall have to deal with these days. So maybe this is, this is an opportunity for us to educate them as well. One of my main concerns is I was doing, I spent several months uh, after Jim asked me to do this, researching as much as I could about not only the mining in Oregon, but also the whole politics thing that was happening. And it was really astounding to learn how we have spent, how we have served 85% of our precious metals that are, are now going to China and we're beholding to them and how important it is for what you guys are doing for so many different aspects, if not the military aspect here in the United States. So I think you all are doing great work and I'm just proud as I could be to be a little bit of a part of it and helping to share the information as well. The thing, the first question I have really is that I would like to know, and I know the bubbly would like to know. I know you've had some uh, some some victories there as far as county land is concerned. I saw that piece, but the question now is, how, what is the current status? I mean, what does it take for us to get those metals out of the ground uh, and into the processing plants, and then uh, into the consumer? What does it take? Where do we where do you stand with all of this right now? Who's that question for? Anybody that wants to answer it. I'd just like to know what the current status is. Ed should answer that, I think. Well, well, to be honest about it, nobody really knows what the next step is coming to coming from the rare metal rare earths. Okay. Uh, the first thing you have to do is establish a lab that can identify the various minerals that we have here. Right now, there is no credible that I'm aware of. They, they, there's a couple that claim to be credible. Whether we know it or not, we don't know. It's just a good, <laughs> try, try it and see. But then you, we don't even know what we're looking at. Nobody has went after the critical minerals or the critical mineral list. So if, if there's no gold or silver or platinum group metals, I, I can pass on it. I, I, that's what I'm after. However, in my quest for these various things, I, I identified several deposits that we believe have critical minerals, which we are in the process of identifying now. We are not set up in the United States to assay or check. They're building plants, but in Texas, that's the farthest place you can go for, for extracting minerals or processing. But I guess they, they're using the train to do it. I have no idea. But I, I prefer to do the extraction where the mine it, it saves a lot of wear and tear on everything, and you're not reinventing the wheel. Uh, but as far as the laboratory, it takes very sophisticated equipment. None of the schools that I'm aware of in this country teach anything about the extraction or the identification of these minerals. I'm sure they do somewhere but it's not within the industry and it, it's 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 a it's a gamble no matter what you do anything you do in mining you gamble